is uh, eCut, and that has. Uh, we'll see what it can do. I'm just going to run its nesting algorithm here. A screen will pop up, and if we we look at the settings here, we have a few more choices. One of the things that I had asked for in the past was to be able to control whether or not shapes are rotated, and there's the possibility of preserving the shape uh, by choosing 360 degrees. Uh, and what that'll do is if you're if you're opening on, let's say um, a brushed surface, like a brushed metal surface. That way all of the uh, resulting things that are cut out will have the brushed pattern in the same direction. So in this case I'm going, just going to get it to um, nest as aggressively as it can. I'm just going to hit apply and it'll show me down here you know uh, the result of that. If I hit OK so you can see it's very aggressively nested those into there. So we would actually use very little space relative to you know our 16 by 24 output area. We could easily get in. Uh, I'm just going to move that out of the way. If we doubled this, and so we've actually got three sections of it now. Control A, Control U to con ungroup all of those. So now we have individual pieces like that. Select them all. Run E cut. And if we hit apply here, it managed to fit most of them in. It had to go to a new sheet there, but I hit OK. You can control whether things are rotated or not. There's a lot of other options here to to look into. Uh, but let's go with that for now. So what we've had to do, we've basically made all of those pieces go into uh, just one in a about maybe maybe a quarter of the next sheet. But let's zoom in on, in on this to see what we've got going on here. You can see how it aggressively tucked those little stars inside other star pieces and things like that. Um, so as far as nesting goes, you can see it looked for those empty spaces to put a star there, etc. So it's very aggressive at nesting stuff. And the point of that is to, you know, as you might be uh, wondering, is to, again, preserve output substrate, especially if you have expensive materials. And um, this is a fantastic solution at an incredibly affordable price. It's only $49.95 for eCut. Um, I mean, I've seen nesting programs on, uh, available on the internet for in the thousands of dollars to do this kind of thing. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the quick demo there. Take care.